Hello everybody, Animation Trainer here, and this is my spoiler review for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So if you have not seen that movie, then I suggest that you click away right now because you will be spoiled. In fact, there's a lot of things that you may not even understand as you guys haven't seen the movie. And if you still if you still feel like you need a Guardians review, just check out my non-spoiler review. You yeah, because this is meant for the people who have seen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Okay. Alright, so let's get started. So, um, one of the first things I want to discuss in this spoiler review was Yondu. And like I said in my regular review, Yondu was definitely a great character. Like, like um, whoever, um, I forgot his name, but the person who um, acts as Yondu... Excellent job, and I'm gonna be honest. This is one of the first times that I've actually like teared up in a movie. Like Yondu's death was very emotional, in my opinion. Yes, and like, like this is like a big step in the MCU because Yondu's death was like, in my opinion, the first big death in the MCU. Because sure, there was stuff like Quicksilver. And stuff, but like, I felt like that wasn't exactly, how do I, I don't know how to say it. Like, Quicksilver was only in one movie. And even then, there's still the X-Men at Quicksilver, which was way better than the Age of Ultron one. And then, while true, there is the the Sam Jackson, um, I mean, sorry, not Sam Jackson. The, Ma the ah, I said Mace Windu. The Nick Fury, um, death scene in Winter Soldier. They later reveal that, that Nick Fury is still alive, so that doesn't count, either. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like Yondu's death was, like, the first real death in the MCU. And, like, that line he said, like, right before he died, he may be your father, but he ain't your daddy, that was a great line. And that really brought the emotion out in that, in that scene, that, that scene was really amazing. Another now let me discuss the other main spoiler, ego. Because pretty much the trailers reveal basically nothing about ego. Except for his main reveal. And to be honest, I kinda knew that he was gonna be evil, but that was only really because of the Guardians of the Galaxy cartoon. Which um the the one on Disney XD, yeah. Cause um I've seen an episode where Star Lord met his dad at and he was already um, working for Thanos, too. So I kind of knew already. But at the same time, it's still a interesting reveal. Like, And, like, there's a lot of craziness that happens around this guy. Like, I had no idea that he was the one who um, caused Star-Lord's uh, mother's death. Yeah, that was very, very surprising. I'm not kidding. That was extremely surprising. And I did not expect that scene at all and the scene where peter just um immediately try to shoot him yeah that was very emotional and then the final action scene well i mean the final battle i should say that was an amazing battle i wouldn't say it's the best battle in the mcu the the airport battle from civil war i could probably say beat it but it's definitely one of the best action scenes in the mcu so far i mean it's really enjoyable and everything like and i enjoyed all the interactions as well sure we already had the the don't push this button joke from the trailer but it, it was still like funny this time as well yeah and then it was also like like, I thought the scene where, um, where Ego was attacking all of, um, Peter's friends, I thought that was very interesting. I mean, that was very emotional. Yeah. And then when Peter, um, and then when they played, um, the chain, like, once he, he started, um, fighting, I thought that was a very good scene. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the chain, the soundtrack in this movie, which I forgot to talk about in my non-spoiler review... I actually really like the songs that they used in this movie. In fact, I think they're better than the songs used in the first Guardians movie. Yeah. Which says a lot because Hooked on the Feeling 
really um is a good is a pretty good song. Yeah, in fact, to be honest, from Volume One, there there was only really like three songs that I that I really enjoyed. Here, I enjoy most of the songs. Like I enjoy all of them, but like maybe t maybe two of them. Yeah, like each of the songs really worked. Like for example, the op oh yeah the opening scene with um when they were fighting the monster and Baby Groot was dancing while they were just in the middle of the fight. Um, I believe it's Mr. Blue Sky. I think that might be my favorite song in the movie. Um, I might be wrong because I, cause I like a lot of these songs. <laughs> but that, that was a well done song for, um, yeah. And the opening scene was really cool too. And I really enjoyed the interactions between the characters while they were fighting the monster. That was pretty good. Yeah. Another action scene I really liked was the the one with Yondu when he um was blowing I mean was whistling his arrow all over the place. And then it surprisingly worked well with um what's it called? Um I'm coming a little bit closer playing on in the background. And I actually like listened to Come a Little Bit Closer a lot before I saw the movie because I wanted to like listen to some of the songs before watching the movie, and I listened to that, pretty much, because that was in the trailers, kind of, yeah, although a song that I was, well, I'll talk about that after, but, yeah, that action scene was very well done, and while we did see, like, two scene, two or three scenes from the trailers, it didn't really give away much of the action scene at all, yeah, and it was cool to see Yondu actually, like, Kicking butt, like this is pretty much other than the soldier scene from the guard from the first movie. This is pretty much Yondu's like first action scene, which was really cool because oh, it was really visually stunning in my opinion. Yeah, I really like this action scene. Yeah, and then um, yeah. Although I was a little disappointed because um, that um a song. The song Fox on the Run didn't make it into this movie because I pretty much listened to Fox on the Run like every day before I saw the movie. And I was just really, I really wanted to hear it in the movie. But unfortunately, it didn't make it to the actual cut of the movie. So that was a little disappointing, yeah. And there was a couple scenes that Fox on the Run would have been perfect on. Like, like, I remember how they were calling Rocket a fox around the movie. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> yeah. Then, like I said in my non-spoiler review, this movie is very funny. Yeah, like, I really like the jokes. Like, like I like the joke where, um, where, Yon, where he start, well, Yondu was just carrying um, Star-Lord down, and then Star-Lord was all like, you, run, you remind me of Mary Poppins. And then um, Yondu was all like, Oh really? Is he cool? And then Star Lord was all like, "Heck yeah!" He, yeah, that was a funny joke. Yeah. Then all the after credit scenes, like I was kind of expecting more like after credit scenes to be like more for Infinity War and stuff, but but no, most of them are meant for like a continuation of the series, like for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three or whatever they're gonna call it. Yeah, and. And well, I'm not exactly too familiar with all of them, but um, they look pretty good as well. Like I enjoyed the scene w with um that one Ravenger, I forgot his name, um, practicing the whistle with um, practicing to use Yondu's whistle with um Surrender playing in the background, and then he accidentally hit Drax. I thought that was a good scene. I liked the teenage Groot scene. That one was pretty funny. <laughs> so I'm guessing that. By Infinity War, um, Groot's gonna be um, most likely um, either still teenager or he'll be back to um, to old Groot and everything. Yeah, and then another uh, another um, action scene I liked in this movie was um, well, sorry, let me finish doing the the after after credit scenes. Yeah, then I liked the Stan Lee cameo and stuff. Like, I didn't exactly understand who the Watcher is, but then after, like, getting a little more, um, like, listening more to, like, who he is and stuff, it's pretty funny, yeah. <laughs> then I enjoyed how, um, they were trying to get the original Guardians back together, which 
It's going to be a little sad after Yondu's death, but hey, it's actually a very interesting turn in the movie. Yeah. Let's see, what else should I talk about? Oh, the score. The score was amazing. Like, like it, it was very nostalgic to the original Guardians of the Galaxy with how the music plays and everything. Yeah, it's very well done. Um, I forgot the the name of the person who did the score, but very well done. And I should and there's another character I forgot to really get into. Um, Aisha. At first, I thought she was gonna be the main villain of the film until um, they put the ego stuff in the end. And for for um the appearance that she was in, I thought she was pretty good. While um I'm surprised by how little screen time she gets, still pretty good. And then the trailers, like I said, gave, like, literally, like, barely gave us anything, like, about the actual movie, which, very well done advertising, very well done. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of things that the trailers, like, made me think was gonna happen, like, with the first sneak peek, like, the one that came for Doctor Strange, at first I thought it was just gonna be a random love story between Star-Lord and Gamora, like... Even this movie, um, like, references it a lot, but, like, th that that doesn't really exactly happen in this movie, which which I'm glad didn't, because I'm not sure how that would work in this movie. Then when um, they released the first official trailer, you know, the one with Fox on the Run playing and everything, I thought that this was going to be a big war movie, where the Guardians were going to be fighting a bunch of spaceships and stuff throughout the, throughout the majority of the movie. But looks like I was wrong there too because there's only like maybe two war sh scenes in the whole movie. Nah, more actually. Yeah. And then later, like with the second official trailer and stuff, I thought this was gonna be like, I still expected like a war movie, but like it looked like there was gonna be more interactions within the movie as well. Yeah. So, um,. I think that's all I have to say in this review. I think I've gone pretty far enough in depth. So, yeah. And if you're watching this, like, and you don't care about spoilers, what are you doing here? Go watch the movie right now. I'm telling you, go watch the movie. It's awesome. Yeah. Alright. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So, goodbye.